What's up, everybody? We are back again with another episode of Show Me What I've Been Missing. I am one of your hosts, Chris Mack, and I'm here with your other host, Elizabeth Stanton. Yes, and we are here today to get into more sex in the city, and we are on season three. Can you believe it? It's been a journey. We are three seasons in. It feels like we've been watching Sex in the City for like a year. But we have, actually. We really have. We really, truly really have. <laughs> oh, it has been almost a year since we've been yeah. doing this, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. When did we start? Was like, was it last December? like December? No, December? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my God. That's crazy. What's happened since then? Shit. So we are on <laughs> season three, episode mm-hmm. one, entitled Where's There's Smoke. Where, Where there's, there's smoke. Yep. Where there's smoke. Sorry, it, my voice and mouth just decided to stop working. <laughs> Yeah, it's officially, uh, it, this aired June 4th, 2000. We're in the new millennium, baby. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We, we passed it, Y2K, we, mm-hmm. we, we beat it. Yo, isn't that crazy though? Cause like, yeah. Y2K was wild. Like it literally had the, like, like straight up, Y2K had us in stores like COVID did, like yeah. buying up a bunch of toilet paper, buying up a bunch of uh, uh, batteries and like, you know, uh, 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 like long lasting food, like canned food yeah, and, yeah. and MREs and shit like that. Like people were <laughs> like people, I remember seeing on TV, uh, people had bunkers that they had built. Oh yeah. Oh and, yeah. And, and, and to be prepared for like basically the world to end. Yep. And it was crazy. But you know what though? Like as crazy as that was, it also seemed kind of well, it seems charming now. Well, see, no, well, <laughs> compared well, to what's fucking happening. Well, what I mean, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. I bet you those people were like, "I told you it was gonna happen." Like they couldn't wait for they oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah, yeah, been there like, oh, "I told you, I'm not crazy." But to be fair, the way they made it seem, I remember being a kid at that time, and the mm-hmm. way the news was, and everybody was talking about it, they basically did make it seem like this was the end of civilization as we knew yeah. it. Yeah, like, but you know what, my family hit. didn't prep at all i think my, my dad works in it or, yeah. or worked in it he's retired now but like i think he like wasn't like because he was more familiar with computer stuff he's like yeah it's a they're working on it and b it's not yeah. really gonna do whatever right. he thinks it's gonna do <laughs> i mean i'm sure there were some things that did get shut down but nothing that affected our day-to-day lives you know i don't what think I mean? anything happened yeah like, really i mean google us and contradict us in the comments or what have sure. you by all means uh but i don't recall a thing you know yeah i don't think so i mean i don't remember anything i said nothing that yeah. affected at least the us on a yeah. daily basis maybe somewhere some other system somewhere that like maybe you know that was me but yeah nothing that got to us either directly but yeah i didn't my family didn't prepare either <laughs> we just got more drunk than we usually would <laughs> for new year's like literally the whole family was drunk like Kids were drunk. Sorry, mom, I didn't mean to out you, but like kids were drunk. <laughs> Fuck it. Not like, like hey, little kids. Just like, in case, you know, like, not you're little teenager. kids. They were, yeah, we were teenagers. It was like yeah. everybody who was drinking was like at least over the age of like 13 or 14. Double so it wasn't digits. like, yeah, it wasn't like, you know, small child. Well, like an old oh, infant was down there getting fucking wasted. Yeah. Although a drunk infant would be cute. Be drunk baby New Year. Yeah, drunk <laughs> baby would be very cute. But yeah, nothing like that. Yeah, we just got more drunk. We were just like, fuck it. If it's because like, and that's my mentality now too. Like the people who are worried about this being the apocalypse, it's like, okay, if it is, so what? Why are you trying to survive? Like, no, who wants to live <laughs> in an apocalypse? I've seen every apocalyptic movie, it doesn't look fun. Like nobody on The Walking Dead looks like they're having fun. No, nobody in Mad Max looks like they're having fun. Like the, I the can't road. Wear all that leather, nothing. Yeah. Can. Oh, what's that movie with fucking v- Vigo Mortensen? The Road, like The Road. Oh my! Yeah. I haven't seen it, but I've miserable. Heard, it's I've heard about it, and I know it's like, oh, it's miserable. Grim. They are miserable. This is horrible. It's grim as fuck. It's dark. It's just yeah. grim. It's just like uh, what, what? What's the other movie with fucking Denzel? The Book of Eli. Book of Eli. Yeah. Where he's Did blind. that look fun? Did any of that look fun? No. None of it. No. no. That's why so, I've seen a lot of people talk about that. That like you know, hey, if the zombie apocalypse comes, it's like. Fuck it. I'm not, I'm not fighting. I'm going me. to get bit immediately. Don't I'm bite going to get me. Bit. <laughs> I'm, ready, I'm ready to tap out. I can't do this. I'm going so, to get okay. bit immediately. I can't say, I, here's the thing. I'm not going to kill myself because I, I ain't weak like that, but I will go oh. get bit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, easy there, Tiger. <laughs> On that comment. But, I know, I know. I know um, people are going to go crazy. Obviously, I'm joking. I'm not, it's not, you know, I'm joking. It's yeah, a I know. joking. joke. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're comedians in case people forgot. Them. Yes. Uh, yeah, my only memory of uh, Y2K was we 
went to the like local there was like a outdoor celebration it's michigan and winter is fucking freezing yeah. and i do i do remember about like 10 seconds of like hesitation i feel like everybody was kind of like all right we kind of down and it flipped over and there the lights are still on everything's fine all right Woo, it's party. yeah that's pretty much everything what i think that's what everybody's waiting for once midnight hit and it was like 1201 and yeah. nothing happened, like our TVs didn't shut well, down or nothing. Once like, Australia uh, didn't collapse, because that's like one of the first true. countries right, to, yeah, yeah. to hit the new year. Right. Like once it, you know, by the time it hits the timeline hits the US, like we're fine. Like right. if it hadn't what well, it was just like the whole thing. Remember when uh, we thought the world was ending 12 years later with the whole oh, calendar, yeah, yeah, 2012. Yeah. But then like, yeah, that was the thing. It's like, all right, here it didn't match up because it's like. Australia is another country that's on a different timeline. They hit New Year's before us. They like Australia didn't disappear off the map or nothing like that. So yeah. I was like, all right, I think we're good. I think we're gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, it's uh, some of those conspiracy things are so dumb. Uh, I mean, listen, but like I said, the news, especially with Y2K, I remember the news had us thinking like, oh yeah, it was like like we didn't have a choice in the matter. Like it was going to be over. Yeah, so. But yeah, it turns out we were just fine. Uh, Sex in the City was running. <laughs> Sex in the City was running. Sex in the City was still running. HBO and, was still running. And running. hey, yeah. the girls are out. They're single. They're ready to yes. mingle. Well, like, sort of. Sort of ready to mingle. Sort of ready to mingle. Uh, because we learned in the episode that, oh, Carrie Girl is not necessarily ready to. Shy. Yeah, she's not ready to get in nervous. there, which I, which I totally understand. So, so, so we start out, they're going to Staten Island. Mm hmm. And they're going to watch a calendar competition of firemen, yes, which I didn't know. Is this a, is this a real thing? I don't know. It might be. It okay. might not be. There's definitely, there's fire calendars of firemen. Uh-huh. And that's yeah. theoretically what this was about, was like rating them. I don't know if right. they were rating them to be in the calendar or just they were in the calendar and being rated. See, I have so many questions. I'm like, is this like a competition to just like get on? Like, because like to get into the calendar, to get into the calendar, mm -hmm. right? Because like I'm assuming they're taking firemen from like different districts. It's not just yeah, one they're different district. ladders or whatever. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, they, they say that they were saying like, oh, were they? Okay. Yeah, they're like ladder or whatever, and it's yeah, yeah. it's firemen from all over New oh, York. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Um, okay, so that makes sense. I mean, I wonder, but I wonder if that's that has to be a thing right because what, how could you get a fireman calendar without like some kind of auditioning process like somebody's got to send in yeah. a photo at least or something like that to get in right like yeah or you, just, or you just hire male models and dress that, them up as firemen. that is true I that's, bet you that's, that's an option true. too <laughs> I don't know, but you know what though i don't feel like firemen i don't feel like they fake it on those i feel yeah. like yeah because well, firemen are usually in pretty good shape like they like they're, they're usually in good shape they're usually in good shape they got they work out and shit like that they got like two three days off where they're not do i mean they're on duty but they're not like doing anything so like yeah. that's plenty of time to get get your shit in and the calendar things i feel like are often a charity thing of some kind right. some kind of fundraising yeah. right so yeah. yeah 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 that's true I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. If they got male <laughs> models, that would be crazy. But I'm sure some, I bet you some districts have, you know what I mean? Before, I like guess probably not too far fetched. Maybe. I, I bet. I'm sure they have. Couple, couple of ringers in the batch to try to. <laughs> <laughs> so they're on the ferry. Uh, Miranda says something very interesting that I, uh, I, I kind of liked, but it was like also kind of sad. And she was there's they're on the ferry and they're looking back at Manhattan, oh, yeah. the island of Manhattan. She was like, Who could think that an island that small could hold all of our ex boyfriends? <laughs> yeah. I was like, That's it's it was really it's a great line, but yeah. also kind of sad because it's like, I don't know, like, what is was she saying that they've dated that many guys or that? It they're running like, out of options yeah 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 yeah, yeah. like yeah because i was like just increase like you're going to stat like increase your dating range i guess is really no like, but the outer boroughs are not hip you right that's what i'm saying the, I, that's what i feel like it's like y'all might be a little like i know charlotte for sure we can especially put her in this category like y'all might sure. be a little too bougie like maybe y'all a little too bougie and mm -hmm. you're not expanding your dating like i understand because like i know everybody has their feeling about different boroughs and where they mm -hmm. come from but it's like clearly y'all haven't ventured out beyond manhattan and maybe that's why your dating life isn't going so well because you're dating like the same type of men like yeah. if they all live in manhattan they're probably relatively on the same wavelength 
mm-hmm. you know, all these business guys, stock guys, fucking, you know, real estate guys. He's like, yep. you know, mogul type guys. That's business all you're going to do. Business. Like big... Which we still don't know what he does. <laughs> it's probably illegal, whatever it is. <laughs> I think so. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's What's he sure. doing in France all the time? Hell yeah. <laughs> Nothing good. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But at the competition, Carrie flirts with Bill Kelly, a.k.a. Roger Sterling from Mad Men actor john Flatley. yes i yes. love him he's so I do good too. He's, he's like so great he, he has like he's like the perfect uh like white guy dad face yeah he was you know like what perfect, i mean like politician face yeah face oh too. perfect politician so like yes yeah, so it's like hey I, we want like a regular looking white guy but also handsome like yeah because he's like, like he doesn't have a, yeah like he him. has a unique look like he doesn't look like yeah. a standard just like generically good looking white man like mm-hmm. he has a a look to him. i think it's the white hair because he's been rocking the white hair yeah for i think like i feel like because i'm i'm trying to think of seeing him in younger things before his hair changed i don't think i've ever seen him with don't think so hair. i think like once yeah. he got the white hair like his career like i can't changed. even picture it you know it's same i can't even picture him with like black or bro- like the even brown. blonde hair yeah like, yeah nothing yeah he's like he's, steve martin he's just always had like white, <laughs> like gray or white hair right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah absolutely absolutely oh man that's funny i love it <laughs> <laughs> like if, have you ever seen it there there are a handful of like older older photos of steve um, martin when he's like super you know really young right and there's one where he looks like a like a sexy cowboy thing he's got like a beard and kind of long shaggy darker oh, i see that yeah yeah, yeah, like, yeah, a, yeah like with the banjo and shit yeah it's hot yeah, good stuff not bad he reminds a handsome guy man like, like, like to see that with john slattery bring out the photos sir. I, wait first of all we know it exists because remember when we were looking up uh ed harris and then we found like all kinds of oh pictures, the like, sexy ed harris like, photos yeah, sexy yeah, yeah. ed harris like every yeah. actor there's at least one there's one picture if you google them with their shirt off i guarantee every guy who's been called hot in hollywood has a shirtless picture and I bet you Steve Martin has one. Oh, probably. And I bet you John Slattery has one too. Somewhere. Oh, why? I did. Sorry. If you Google, there are photos of him. He's got like black hair. Oh, that's wild. Oh. Does it look good? Does it, how's yeah, it, look? it looks good. He looks, he looks very Irish with it, which okay. he is. Yeah. Which makes yeah. sense. Uh, he's like a Boston Irish guy, but um, right. he looks a little like Joey McIntyre actually with the dark hair. Interesting. So Google it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> That's hot. That's good. I yeah, like man. it. I like it. I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm like getting off track. Okay. Oh, so okay. I just yeah. yeah. I mean, I was too. Don't get me wrong. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so there. Uh, oh, then um, Miranda says something about. Wait, is this still on the boat? I'm gonna make sure. Because they were talking about Steve. That was all, they were in the bar. And they were at the bar. Okay, that's late. So that's, Carrie, that's, that's, Carrie was yeah. off judging and flirting with um, right politician Roger Sterling. Yes. <laughs> that's all I want to call. That's who he is. Yeah, he's, he's mad man from Roger Sterling. Yeah, or uh, he, uh, Tony's dad, Tony Stark's dad. Oh right, right. Howard play him Stark. Once. Howard Stark. Yes, all right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what do you call it? But the, so yeah, uh, Charlotte, Miranda, and Samantha are talking, which is kind of nice to see. We don't see these those three girls paired up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, very often. Yeah, so I'd like it, to see it, them like actually be friends. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. Nice see them actually be without friendly. Carrie being around. Um. But Miranda says, "Yeah, like uh, she says something about like looking in there. Like, what are you talking about looking? You've got Steve." And she's like, "I don't really have Steve." Right. They, they're sort of in a friends with benefits thing, but it's sort it's maybe it's, a little more than that. It's it's well from throughout the episode you kind of can see that yeah steve obviously feels like it's more but they haven't mm-hmm. had the conversation yet right. so and they're just like in this weird limbo which i kind of agree with because i've been dating this girl but like mm-hmm. we're still in that we haven't had the conversation about like us being a couple so we're still mm-hmm. in that limbo so it's like that's a hard thing to to be in because unfortunately everybody's a little bit uh scared i guess so mm-hmm. you don't want to have that conversation because you're yeah. afraid of what the answer could be but it's like also you gotta have that conversation because yeah. <laughs> that's what adults fucking do so mm-hmm. <laughs> you just gotta like bite that bullet which i feel bad for steve because i feel like when they do bite that bullet he's gonna get screwed mm-hmm. 
yeah, he seems like a really nice guy. Miranda still kind of seems like she's not really a hundred percent sure where she is in life right now at this moment. And yeah. Yeah. I don't, I mean, like, you know, career wise, she knows where she's going and shit like that. But as far mm-hmm. as like her love Personally, life, yeah, 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 personal love life, she seems like she's kind of in a weird place right now. Yeah. Which is crazy because like, you know, a few episodes ago when Steve comes back into the picture, she seems like she's very happy about him coming mm-hmm. back. Like she clearly missed him and yeah. in a lot of ways. But now that he's here, she's like, I don't know, not yeah. not mm-hmm. fully committed to it. So I don't know. Maybe she just liked the idea of Steve and not yeah. actually him. Yeah. Maybe, but or maybe she's just lonely and then he was like the last guy. So she's just like assumed that that was what she wanted. But I think if we want to just go ahead and dive into her plot. Sure, well, yeah, we're, we're already here. We're kind of talking here, about yeah. it, yeah. I think, though, um, oh, shoot, I forgot the last thing you just said before. I was like, let's get to it. But with, like, the whole, she, she gets LASIK surgery and is going to need somebody yeah. to be by her side. I think uh, it's more than just he's he's the most recent guy because he he off he offers like she's yes. telling him about it and he straight up offers yeah and i love that she says carrie's gonna do it and i wrote my notes i'm like carrie will not do it she is the worst fucking friend she will fuck this up guess what she did and she fucking did <laughs> she did it your prediction was right on the money because she and did she, not show up she sure said steve <laughs> she said steve um but incidentally question. that that will happen again in a different scenario. Oh, I'm not going to spoil know. anything, but no, it will happen again no, in the show. Oh, she course. will send someone else to Miranda's aid when she was supposed to go do take care of her. 100%, um, 100%, 100%. Yeah, but I, <laughs> my whole note is that it's in all caps because um, Carrie blow, blows it off because she has a last minute deadline. And I just wrote, of course, <laughs> bitch, this is why no one likes you. <laughs> right. Absolutely. And uh don't fuck with Carrie at all. And I wrote, yeah, Miranda says she'll ask Carrie, but girl, I'd stick with Steve. Carrie is irresponsible AF. <laughs> and it's so fucking true. Oh, you cannot count on Carrie for anything. I would let her watch my fucking cat. That's funny. <laughs> she man. would fuck it up. Hell yeah. She'd like let him outside. That's cool, man. <laughs> Yeah, I and I and that's what I knew. It was like, I was like, I knew she wasn't gonna show up. I knew that. I just, mm-hmm. I just had a feeling. But I was one. I was like, I was like, uh, I was trying to be, look at it in a positive light. I was like, maybe she sent Steve as a way to kind of motivate Miranda to like actually, you know, maybe you know, maybe. actually like you know, accept confront, that. Ex- confront her feelings for this guy. Yeah, you know accept I mean? her feelings. About but I here's the, also though. That seems more like a a sneaky Samantha thing, not a Carrie thing. I don't feel like I, Carrie's not that. She's not that. She's not that considerate. Real talk, like that's not a really <laughs> something. You know what I mean? Like if it was like some shoes that Miranda wanted, she might like cop them for her and be like, "I bought mm-hmm. you these shoes because I know you wanted them, and there was the last pair." Maybe, yeah. but like stuff like this on the romantic stuff and like stuff like that, it's not really a Carrie move. I feel like Samantha would do that low key and like not even, you know, expect a thank you. Cause she's like the best friend. I'm sorry. She is the best friend. Uh, the I best say, friend. I say maybe it it is kind. Carrie does like to kind of encourage the girl, like right. Miranda Charlotte, sure. with relationships. Like as we'll see, as we'll see, I think more in the season. Um, so yes and no. I agree yeah. generally, but also I f- I do feel like it kind of works, but. Yes, then Steve, there, there's a whole fairy tale rescuing motif, which we'll yes. unpack as we continue. Yes. Um, but yes, Steve comes to her quote unquote rescue mm-hmm. and uh, tucks her into bed while she's all hopped up on Valium and, and, right. and sleeping, sleeping pills. pills. Yes. <laughs> um, and then Miranda wakes up and Steve is sweetly sleeping next to her, which I do think is kind of cute. It's I cute. thought it was adorable. And then she, that kind of seals the deal on her and Steve getting back yeah. together. This, yeah. You know. Yeah. Because like, it's sorry. not only that he was there for her, it's that he right. like fell asleep beside her. Oh my God. Right. So well, that's all I'll say too. Like, obviously, 
again, it wasn't a friends. It was never a friends with benefits situation for him. Because I'm gonna tell you yeah. something. I know I can tell you this. I'm I've been a guy for a long time, and I can speak, <laughs> I can speak it very fluently. Is there's no guy that's gonna be in a relationship that's friends with benefits that's gonna like be there for you and like right. take you home and watch you and tuck you in the bed and sleep mm-hmm. next to you. Sorry, we don't yeah. do shit like that. At best, it might be a friend. He might have picked you up, got you home, been like, "All right, here's your pills. I'm gone. Peace See you out. Later. Yeah, yeah." Call me when you're better. Yeah, yeah, call me when you're yeah. ready to fuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> like the guy, what was the guy? The the guy that uh, Carrie was that she, he had like the uh, the fling the 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 mayhem guy. Remember she yeah, had yeah, a little yeah, fling with him. Yeah. Like that guy, he wasn't gonna, he wouldn't go to. He ne- pick her yeah, up yeah. She would have been like, I broke my fucking leg. Can you come to the hospital? He'd be like, eh, uh, Can you call one of your other friends? Right. Like, exactly. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So I don't even, and that's what I'm saying. Like I don't even know why she was trying to pretend that it was a friends benefit thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know it. They wasn't. they knew they just knew that he he was a little more willing to be upfront about it. But Miranda and true Miranda fashion was like no. Yeah. Oh, and I do like Miranda's whole like independent streak because um I've definitely uh, <laughs> by choice have driven myself to and from like a ton of doctor appointments, especially during my cancer treatment stuff. <laughs> And my mom was here and everything. And I was just like, I'll just fucking do it myself. I don't feel like you know what? You are Miranda in this situation because, like, you you know what? Because that reminds me of this. If that we still you've told the story of he comes out on the podcast, but the story about how like you broke your arm. At oh, the yeah. Camp. And your boyfriend was upset about it. You're like, why is he upset? Yeah, you why is he mad? Like, <laughs> That's a Miranda thing. She would yeah. be very upset, like, that you're upset. Like, why are you upset? I'm yeah. the one that's hurt. That's selfish. Like, well, it was, and it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this is the the master lover over here. <laughs> master Lo- of love. <laughs> line up, gentlemen. <laughs> That's true. A true. We got a true romantic on our hands. Oh, well. but but for real though, I do love romantic stuff. You have no mm-hmm. fucking idea. Mm-hmm. But also, don't be fucking dumb. <laughs> right, I got you. No, I no, nothing about that romantic. Uh, and I feel like that kind of gets us into Charlotte's story. Yeah, because uh, we have to go back. We'll get. Yes. Into, we have to go yes. back. It's maybe my favorite um, Charlotte moment in the entire yes. series yes. is her fucking wasted on that dance floor <laughs> singing along to whatever that disco song was way um i love whole, it that whole party with the 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 the, the, the competition for yeah, the calendar yeah. and shit like that i'm sorry maybe i'm being stereotypical but that didn't seem like a woman's thing that seemed like a gay guy event like a gay like well, a gay yeah. event you know what i mean like the music but, that they were playing the way that they were dressed and well, the way they were dancing a- and Straight women tend to crash those things. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's still like it was like a gay party that straight women crashed. Um, and B, it was, I think, a straight event because it was women going to go ogle the guys yes. was a big part of it. Yes. Um, and then the joke they make is that like Staten Island is like 20 years behind um, Manhattan. Oh, which, okay. So that's why the, the music was so That's why the disco is <laughs> playing and stuff like that. That's, that's pretty clever. Um, <laughs> I'll take that. That's pretty clever. Yeah, but uh, the, just fucking Charlotte white girl wasted on that dance floor. Oh, she was so cute, too. I was so, like, she was so, so cute. cute on the she floor. She was so cute. I lo- uh, it's my favorite. Like, oh, my God. Anytime this episode comes on and I realize we're at that part, I get I get so excited. I'm like, this is my favorite <laughs> Charlotte moment in the whole series. It's just so it's- fucking fun. <laughs> and she was even cute uh when they were back on the ferry on the ferry and she's like <laughs> she was like swinging it. around the pole <laughs> and she, and i loved Miranda. like if she falls off i will never stop laughing oh, i don't think miserable. i would either oh, if she god. had fallen off this ferry i would have died laughing i think oh, oh my god so fucking funny. i don't think she would have made it man that, that water looked like I mean, it looked like it was cold outside yeah that water was, was probably like you know, 20 degrees colder than what's in the air. So Yeah, no, you don't want to fall off the ferry no, like that. I don't but, think you want to fall. <laughs> not the, especially not in the Hudson, too. Like, that's Ugh, a dirty no. river. So you, <laughs> not only you get pneumonia, you might get, like, syphilis or something. <laughs> and the, and then uh, the next day, poor Charlotte is horrendously hungover. <laughs> oh, my God. So hungover. <laughs> I love when she's okay. like, my hair hurts. <laughs> 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 it's so true. It's like, when you're fucking well, hungover. I mean, <laughs> Dude, also too, like, of course you're gonna have a hangover like that when you're drinking Long Island. I'm oh, sorry, Staten, Staten Island, Island iced tea, tea. Like, which is basically a Long Island, which is yeah, you know, three different alcohols in one. Like, yes, Ooh. that's that's Ooh. what you drink when you're trying. Like, if your only point is to get wasted, 
that's the kind of drink that you drink yeah. is a Long Island iced tea. That's yeah. that means like you don't care about nothing else but getting drunk. I'm glad they at least acknowledge because they are in their 30s. And yes, yes, the hangovers do get worse as you get older. Yes, they do. Yes, I had a two from day, one day to two days. I went. I had a two day hangover after I drank too much champagne when Joe Biden won on that Saturday. I was like, like <laughs> partying at home. There was what's that song where it's like, I want your body, I need your body, but people were doing it like, I want Joe Biden, I need Joe Biden. Um, that was my vibe at home alone <laughs> with, with champagne. The other funny part to me was my cousin's wife of the date, like two days before said, oh, I'm going to sit out of the family Zoom. I, I happen to have voted for Trump twice. We're not going to get into that. But uh, everyone on the group chat was really polite. And I was like, okay, no, no, that's fair. And then the day he won, nothing was directed at her, but it was just like memes on memes on memes right. from like the whole family. I'm like, I hope she muted it just for her yeah, own sanity. Yeah, yeah. We, I was like, we would, again, nothing directed at her. She's very sweet, very nice. Um, but it just was kind of funny to me that we're like, oh, okay, we're like, yeah, forget the politics. Let's see the baby, all that nice stuff. And then like that Saturday, it was like, I was sending TikToks left and right. I like wouldn't stop posting me. <laughs> Is out of control <laughs> so and then but then I had a two-day hangover I literally had to call as I had to work that Monday and I literally had to like after I kind of got through the first main major part of the day had to be like I don't feel well and I need to take a nap um I will I will come back to work in a couple hours is that okay and they were like yeah that's fine I think one of the people in charge of me had seen me post something on instagram about having uh, champagne so i think they kind of knew i was hungover, yeah, but right. uh he was cool about it thanks preston <laughs> shout out to preston, shout letting, out to you, preston. letting the co-worker sleep off a hangover yeah. that's what you bro but Fuck anyway you, bro. charlotte's hungover as hell yes at, at brunch um and she says uh they play this quote all the time where she's like i've been dating since i was 15 i'm exhausted where is he about her like i so here's my only problem with that mm -hmm. uh i understand where she's coming from because like look they're in their 30s now so yeah, they've been yeah. dating they've been in the dating pool for at least 15, 20 years yeah, 15 20, to 15 to 20 years depending 20 on their years, ages yeah. uh so i get that mm -hmm. however um you the problem with that is is like she the reason why it's hard for her is because she's not like letting it be organic she's like oh, yeah. gold dating she's like trying to find mm -hmm. the husband the, the 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 you know rich handsome fucking uh, uh comes from a well-known family yeah, yeah. kind of husband like you know whatever and when you're a gold dater it's the, 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 the journey seems a lot longer because you're yeah. trying to get to a destination instead of like going with the flow figuring out i mean mm -hmm. like, you can't always go with the flow there does need to be a little bit of planning in there like you do like of course, like as a relationship grows and shit like that, like you got to figure out if you're going to go to the point of getting married and moving mm -hmm. in together and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So of course you can't just go with the flow in that regard. But as far as like the love itself, you got to let, you know, she doesn't like yeah. let that blossom. She just thinks that it has to be like in these little, like she has like a, like literally like a love outline that she yeah. follows. Like few dates, get together, be my boyfriend, then be my, you know, whatever. She yeah. has a, a line and it's like, and nah. she's also stuck on that very outdated timeline right slightly less certainly for now slightly yeah. less so then but but becoming outdated of like right oh you're getting a little too old to get married there right you know, like that's a yeah. problem and you're you're something's wrong with you if you have if you're not which yeah. is not true it's horseshit who cares right um which i get though in a sense of if because she, she is in her 30s and we all know that like the older you get if you're trying to have children it yeah. gets more difficult mm -hmm. so i kind of get her you know being more yeah. pressed for action in that regard because if you do want to have children it's going to get more difficult as she gets older so i see her point but i also think that like she needs to just bring it down a notch you know she's here she needs to be like, yeah here <laughs> yes yeah it, and then also she says the like women just want to be rescued thing which sets off the fairy tale motif uh-huh um and I like that Carrie says, like, well, maybe we're our own white knights. Like, that's that's fine too. And then Charlotte's like, no, I want a man. She's like, that's sad. <laughs> yeah, she's like, that's so depressing. And I'm like, okay, well, no. It's like, not. okay, I I'll understand see. again where she's coming mm -hmm. from there because, like, she, the idea is that, like, yeah, 
and here's why I understand where she came from because the way she interpreted that yep. from Carrie was like she's gonna end up alone. Right. That's what she interpreted it as, which that's not on this on what mm-hmm. Carrie meant. But uh, yeah, like you shouldn't be waiting around for somebody to, like make your life better. Like a person, you should mm-hmm. depend on a person to bring happiness into your life. Like yeah. you should have, did have some happiness on that. And then they add to that happiness. And it's very mixed in too with just sort of the general like societal way things that were for so, so long up until right. kind of really recently within those characters' lifetimes. Cause like up until the seventies, women couldn't have like their own credit cards and shit like that. So part right. of being the, re- part of the rescue thing is a genuine like, cannot make money uh, enough on my own to support myself so for like years and years and years the quote-unquote rescue did have, unfortunately had to come in the form of a man making right. money right and, and that's probably you know if you think about a child's parents being rich it's they don't didn't really prepare her for life and thinking in some ways she right. has to have a, even though she has a job and a career right now and I'm sure it's and, kind of been conditioned in her right. head, like none of that matters. You need to get a guy who will financially support you in the long run. Right. Which and is, like, we don't see that yeah. with Carrie, uh, Miranda or Samantha, but uh, it it's definitely like a thing people have in the back of their head or used to, especially. Now I think it is like, we're in many, many ways advanced from that. Um, I know, but I know there's like a whole online joke now about like everyone wanting a sugar daddy and look who wouldn't want someone to pay their bills. But in yes. reality, you do not need that. You will live and survive in most cases yeah. without it. But um, unless you just sit at home and do nothing, yeah. Then, you know. But I, I, I think it, again too, it, less so now, but certainly at the time that this was airing, there was still mm. like you know, I love fairy tales and stuff too. Do not uh, get me wrong, right? Um, and we were, you know everyone rips on the old Disney cartoons and stuff like that, but that's, they're complicated too, because actually a lot of, of some fairy tale, like kind of discourse discussion stuff I've read with some of them are kind of preparing you as a, as a woman for like your husband to be fucking terrible, like mm. beauty and the beast, in, mm-hmm. for example, mm-hmm. congratulations. You're marrying like a, a, a beast, a beastly guy and like yay he's handsome and has money but like remember <laughs> he was a beast beforehand right. or the most infamous one is um bluebeard yeah. where yeah. he had all the <laughs> dead wives in the closet well i mean and like you look whatnot. at beast like he was he locked you up first like yeah, he, well, <laughs> yeah you're it. locked you're ripped you locked you your up. family yeah you're locked away and you're you grow to love him which right. is that it's a more positive spin on it right um which is but, ah. yeah, really ah. but but like slowly but surely we've gotten better uh with fairy tale things i think yeah. too well really my favorite example and that came out around this time was ever after with drew barrymore okay was the riff on cinderella um set in like france and whatnot and okay. she legit rescues herself in the movie like oh. she uh the her evil stepmom ends up like selling her for money to pay debts for the thing after she's you know and she meets the prince and all that you know there's all those yeah. and stuff like that but towards right. the end of the movie she gets sold and she fights off the guy who's her captor and she's walking it's like i really love this she's walking out of the castle and the prince is coming up and she's like what are you doing here and he's like mm, i came to rescue you she's like it's, i'm good bro it's really, it's really sweet and really yeah. fun and there's actually uh the best one of the best moments of the movie is they're surrounded by like a band of thieves or whatever and um uh she's like in disguise as a richer woman than she is uh with the prince and the the thieves are like you can ke- keep anything you can carry with you and she goes can i have your word on that and he says absolutely and she picks up the prince and puts her him on her back and starts to walk away with him because they're gonna like hold him for ransom or whatever that's awesome. and it's like they're so impressed it's the best it's great that's awesome movie. it's my favorite so like we're, we're we fight you know we're starting to get those princess stories or like mulan right. and or even like meg and hercules the cartoon so we're you know uh, shifting away maybe i want to say maybe ariel might be the last kind of like she doesn't really need to get rescued by Prince Eric, 
but she kind of does mm. but then also she you know everyone jokes that she's like i'm uh i'm 16 i, I love him and everyone's like you don't know fucking shit you stupid little mermaid you're 16 i mean listen literally. to your giant fish father what the fuck yeah come on bro i think but he then, knows a little bit more yeah but after that we get you know bell and jasmine and um Nala, I guess. <laughs> but we get. I don't know if you're. Nala know. doesn't take any shit, really. She goes yeah. off and finds. Yeah, Zimbo. that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if she's like. I don't know if I would consider. She's her a princess, a... technically. I know she's Is a she? lion, but she's a lion princess. He's the Lion yeah. King. Yeah. She becomes his Lion Queen. Yeah. All right, we'll take it. You know, we'll take so it. There we'll go there. Yeah. We'll so that's it. my brief uh, tangent on fairy tale situations. We'll take, we'll take it. Um, but I mean, I love like fairy tale fantasy stuff sure. i'm not gonna judge too hard but anyway yeah so so that, this is the world that charlotte lives in though this, she lives yeah. in like a prince charming coming to save me from the yeah. evil dragon type world but it backfires it does so, they meet, <laughs> so she goes with the she goes out with carrie and they go mm-hmm. you know i guess fishing if you want basically call it. yeah and mm-hmm. she meets this guy who like defends her honor after some yeah. creepy guys like hey sweet lips well, and, won't take, drink. and won't take no for an answer and everyone, yeah. all these guys are like women never say no directly charlotte said no, no. directly to his face he should have said no i'm not interested she said i'm she not said interested. Of, I, she, that's what said. she said it straight up no i'm not interested yeah to him and the guy and he did would not, not take no for an answer yeah fuck and that shit at that point he was i mean he was already Crossing he's already line. pushing it but man. at that point you know for sure there's solid evidence mm-hmm, he mm-hmm. said no comma i'm not interested yeah. period and he still wouldn't leave her alone yeah so he kind of got what he deserved in a sense in a sense uh, but it turns out the man doing the rescuing absolute fucking lunatic just like starting by this. the way i wrote this down <laughs> sorry uh his name was arthur arthur yeah. looks like a serial killer he looks yeah I, I just this energy I was like Mm-mm, this guy I, I at first I thought he was I we were gonna come to find out that he like set the whole thing up to like get at her yeah which wasn't the case but like he just had that energy like something about him wasn't right I was like nah this him ain't. and Barkley running them same circles yeah, I'm telling bro. you yeah bro. remember like, Barkley all the way back from season one? Oh yeah Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, Mr. Serial Killer, I put Mr. it on TV. Mr. Serial Killer yeah, with the yeah, TVs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Arthur was definitely not too far off. Nah. Uh, because if he likes starting fights with literal strangers, he is eventually going to turn that anger on Charlotte. Oh, 100%. Oh, 100%. He'll beat the shit out of her. What are you yeah. talking about? It'd be horrifying. <laughs> yeah. So, gl- if he, luckily or if she... he doesn't beat the shit out of her, he'll just like beat the shit out of the kids if they he have. He almost took like... a swing at the waitress at the he restaurant did. in the second right. part. Yeah. Right. He like just yeah. barely held back on like yeah. throwing throwing the punch, so yeah, that was fucked. Up. <laughs> yeah, D was vet mad aggressive. But I'm glad Charlotte scooted out of there and it avoided all that no. mess. Thank goodness. Okay, now let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Uh, in that situation, mm-hmm. uh, with with the guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I ask this question properly. Okay. <laughs> is do do women, or maybe even just speaking for yourself, I don't want mm-hmm. you to speak for all women because obviously mm-hmm. you don't know all women. That's, that's fair. Right. Do you, okay. So let's take the first case scenario, not the second time he gets mm-hmm. into the fight with her at a mm-hmm. restaurant, but the first time, creepy guy won't leave you alone. Mm-hmm. He kind of defends your honor. Unfortunately, it ends in violence. Is that attractive? I I don't think so at the end of the day. Like it right. would have been nice if he had just kept telling the guy to to shove off, but right. actually like getting physical, right. less less hot. Yeah. Because if you're that quick in that scenario and you don't even know me, right. to throw a punch to like start throwing a punch, like a right. punch punch, like he knocks that guy down, that first yeah. guy. Yeah. Uh it, it, that crosses the line from like you know hey it's nice that someone like stepped up and we'll see how that goes to you know it, it moves very quickly from like oh that was a solid dude to like Jesus, that's fucking crazy yeah, yeah that's that's what i'm saying because yeah. that's what i wonder because like i don't know I, and i feel like if you're a woman that is turned on by like a guy beating someone else you're crazy up, too yeah like that's some toxic ass shit yeah. like you need to like, you need to look into it. like I know there's probably women who are listening to this or are going to listen to this and and probably say like fuck you to me yeah, but it's yeah. like nah bro like any there's no there's 
Oh, there's the only violence is not a good yeah. option for it's anything. Like, even if you're like if you're protecting somebody from like bodily harm, mm-hmm. I understand that. Or if you're protecting yourself from bodily harm, that's when violence needs to occur. You know what I mean? But like mm-hmm. just because you're defending her honor like that, mm-hmm. like nah, bro. Like if, and if like I said, if you're a girl that's turned on by that, you talk as this fuck. You need to go yeah. see a counselor too. Because if that's if that's what you need to like feel like a man's mm-hmm. a man, then nah, you ain't ready for that. And because then, even with that guy harassing them um if you were a guy and wanted to intervene in a non-violent way you a you could tell him off like he did right then if it's not working you could talk to the bartender and say you need to get security or somebody right i know they were in like a fancier bar but like there's still i'm sure like some kind of security or manager or somebody yeah. who could come and say you're harassing the these two women leave my right. establishment right like you go through those channels or do the old uh, added bit where just you come up and pretend you're her boyfriend yeah that too and then you know that um, yeah that would be okay i think well i say that works scenario that scenario will probably work better because unfortunately men like that only respect it when other men come around so right when you, say you have like a boyfriend you're claimed as like yeah property. yeah, yeah. I, know, is, I know i know which is i say it's sad i you should You're show not respect wrong, to though, a person, but it, though, yeah. it's the truth, though. Most yeah. men like that who don't take no for an answer in that regard of like mm-hmm. hitting on a girl. If a guy shows up, then they're like, "Oh, sorry, like, now oh, I respect you, you." You put your dick on her, got it? Right, got, got, it, got claimed, it. Claimed, claimed, respect, claimed. respect, yeah. bro. <laughs> I know, no, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> listen, listen, I, I apologize for my species. I know we're not the greatest sometimes. I get it. We're working I'm, on uh, it. We're working on it. We're getting better. We're getting better. You know, um, it just take. You know, humans, you know, evolve over millions of years, so we're taking our time. You know, yeah. <laughs> things are a little slow. We're a little slow. It just, yeah, it like, like, listen, a million years from now, we won't even be having a conversation like this. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, I'll be in robot tubes or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that's true. So, so that's that kind of wraps up Charlotte. You know, she asks, she says the like women just want to be rescued, and yeah, uh, we kind of. And she gets rescued, and then and then it's not at all how she thought. It's right. It's bad. It's bad. Yeah. Um, well, he wasn't really a rescuer per se. I think he's just like a guy who liked to fight. That's he what, just was like, oh hell yeah, that looks like a fight I'm in. Yeah. Like honestly, I I like now I'm thinking about like who he is, and I it, it probably didn't even matter that he was harassing them like yeah I, it just he just saw a guy that he probably looked like he's like i bet i could punch him i can fight him i can beat yeah. his ass like yeah he probably didn't even hear what was going on he probably right. was like i'm gonna crack you one he just he just happened to hear like the last little part I was like oh, okay i'll improvise yeah like <laughs> oh right on that's, that's yeah yeah i'll be a hero but actually i just want to yeah. fight this guy because he has a punchable face and she did like, yeah he did he i did. just like fighting yeah I just like fighting. <laughs> um so that so Carrie ponders the just need to be rescued situation mm-hmm. with uh, John Slattery, aka Roger Sterling. Yes. Um, I just love the well, this character. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. He does come back in the next episode. Okay. Uh, but for now, I do. I like. Uh, I, I do enjoy him so much, and I I, I, yeah. I like his his whole like for government purposes only. Yes. Like trying to get her info and stuff like that. I yes. Like, That's so fucking cute. It's and like, I, yeah, I know. A little weird starts... that he's sitting on the doorstep. A little weird. Hey, listen, if Steve can get away with it, my man, Josh yeah. Slattery can do it too, yeah. right? Because Steve got <laughs> away with it. Way easier hey, for listen, me. He's tra- at least, at least, uh, uh, at least uh, John was a little bit more respectful. He stayed on the stoop. He, he didn't show up stoop? at the fucking door. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because like, mm-hmm. listen, they all live in Manhattan. You know you got to get buzzed to get in the building. So yep. that means Steve like either snuck past somebody or whatever and like got I was in like, oh, I'm going up to my girlfriend's and trick right. somebody. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? He was like, you know what? I'm going to chill right here. <laughs> he sit on the stoop. You know, he was also, yeah. and also too, like the way he was, he was sitting in like a, uh, a, a submissive kind of position. Yeah, like, he yeah. wasn't standing up tall, like aggressively. He was sitting yeah. down kind of sludged. You know, mm-hmm. we, you know, good body language. I like yeah, it. good I body like language. Good yeah, he, he had a good approach. Yeah, um, and so he he asks her to go to the like back to Staten Island for some dinner thing. Yeah. I don't know, you know, he voting. He's trying to get elected as comptroller right. or whatever the comptroller. fuck that is. Right. Uh, I think it has to do with money. I have no idea. I thought I don't know. I usually mm-hmm. look. I usually just kind of tend to vote straight Democrat on tickets when I don't know who everybody is, or I do a quick Google and just roll with it. I'm That's not not politically you. active, 
but like I don't, also don't have a fucking ton of time to look up all those fucking judges on the fucking I mean, Los Angeles yeah, ballots. Who has the fucking time? We got lit, man. <laughs> if you were that, if you were that sincere about politics, you'd probably just be, be in politics. Yeah, you'd be in politics. <laughs> so. um, but Carrie is definitely not. Um, and actually, the next episode gets a little more into the politics stuff right. because that episode kind of came around last year around the election time. Mm. And we'll get into that the next episode. All right, cool. um, but he, so he says, I'll wait for you at such and such time where the cute Jimmy Choose you just bought. Right. And uh, so then she's she's all dressed up, ready to go. And this is one of my favorite looks of hers, by the way. I thought she looks gorgeous in that. Question though. Yeah, blue dress Question. and stuff. Yeah. She did look, she did look phenomenal in that dress. Yeah, I'll yeah. give you that. Her hair was uh, perfect. Hair dress. She just was like, ooh, that's she's prettiest she's ever looked at the show. Question. Uh, and maybe you can answer this as a woman, but uh, I don't get. She got like fully dressed, makeup and everything, and then she was like, "I don't think I'm gonna go." Why would you go through the effort? Like, if you were, if you, because like, obviously, I, mm-hmm. I mean, I understand why she's doing. Yeah, I understand why she's gun shy. Yeah. Yes, I understand why she's gun shy. I just, you know, what I'm saying like it's pretty clear through the episode because even when they're flirting at the bar, he says, "Yeah, why won't you go out with me?" Like, or oh, I can't have your number. And he guesses breakup. like bad breakup, and she right. doesn't, she and doesn't she, really answer. Yeah, she just. I mean, he's not dumb. Yeah. He picks up on it, but. And yeah, then she, she just like, shuts down. Yeah. <laughs> like, that kind of, that kind He's of like, oh, okay. Nailed it. nailed it. Yeah, he nailed yeah. it. He's like, oh, I should nail on the head. I, I mm-hmm. since it's a subject. So, but my question is like, if you were, since obviously you were having doubts the entire mm-hmm. time. So like, why would you get fully dressed and makeup and hair ready and then decide you're not going to, I mean, she does ultimately decide to go, but like, if you were having those kind of qualms, why would you even get dressed? I don't know. Not, it couldn't be me, as they say. You know what I mean? Because it's a, it's a, not an ordeal for me, but it's not sure. my favorite thing. To, I like getting dressed up from time to time. Sure. But um, if I am dressed and I've done hair and makeup, I'm going out. Right. I'm not wasting that effort. <laughs> and maybe Carrie would have gone somewhere else all dressed up like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, if I'm not, not going out, I'm not putting anything on, you know? Right. Like, yeah um what do you call it so yeah uh but the, it's kind of a cliche in things where they it's it's pretty girl left at the door or like you know all dressed up nowhere to go is the cliche that's kind of what they're told she had somewhere to go but she had somewhere to go but she, so didn't, she didn't feel didn't like she had go. anywhere to go you know right but then she calls miranda and miranda's like you know why you're you're holding back yeah because you had the rough go at the end of things with big there you wild yeah. stallion you calm back. well also our like our least favorite horse metaphor <laughs> she also uh you know <laughs> Which, but, but see and that's and that's that's and that's speaking of that quote uh <laughs> that's what <laughs> that that's what makes me it seems kind of uh i guess uh like a backtracking in character because mm-hmm. at the end of season two she seems like she's kind of you know let those feelings wash away and she's like ready to get back out there and she's kind of over right because she walks away in the slow motion like power walk like yeah I'm yeah make it after all and then we get here and she's like gunshot well i think we don't know how much time is has elapsed and based on let's say the engagement party being in like the summery time it looked maybe uh-huh. Uh-huh. um and things were colder now so it's it's fall maybe the start of we'll say fall there's not really yeah. snow or, or whatnot right yeah it's so it's fall. really only been a couple months right. and i and and in a way roger sterling there he's not big like in the terms of like he's a rich businessman but it's still yeah. like a, a a business type man you know yeah. he's in politics and things like that a powerful some, man a powerful man yeah so I, if I were her, I would be like, oh, am I falling in the same fucking trap I just got out of with this guy? Bruh, I know that exact feeling because I'm kind of like, sometimes I think of like, like, <laughs> I'm cur- like the girl I'm currently dating kind of low key in some ways reminds me of like, girl, like but not like her personality, but just like her situation. Yeah, yeah. It's the same, like her living yeah. situation basically is kind of the same. So it's just like, mm-hmm. am I? Like, I, I, I know those thoughts. It's like, am I doing, am I, rep- am I? Do I have a powder? Do I have a, yeah. you know? 
you know, so yeah, I, I get I get her on that, but I just didn't understand her getting fully dressed and still like, I, you know what I mean? Like I don't I feel like I don't know anyone who's like gotten fully dressed and then not gone out other than like someone legit canceling plans. Right. Like, which has has happened where yeah, I've been that, like you're different. half made up or you're almost all done and they're like, Oh, we're not going down. You're like, fucking hell, I just it's put on mascara for nothing. I still Fuck. go out. I still go out. I've had people like cancel dates on me and shit like that. I'm like, no, I'm going out. I look too good to be staying at home. <laughs> Fuck the bullshit. Because like good. my mindset was already like, because here's the thing, you know, yeah. especially in LA, man, like it's a whole mental thing. When you have prepared yourself mentally to go out of the house, yeah. you don't want to have to like not go out. I mean, sometimes it's nice because like if you didn't really want to go in the first place, yeah. and you, you were kind of psyching yourself up, that's different. But like if you were looking forward to being out, your brain says you got to be out. So I'll go find something to do. Even yeah. if I go like see a movie alone or something like that. Like I That's planned true. on being out of the house. So yeah, yeah, this is what I'm doing. Um, and the, so yeah, she gets to the, the dinner date thing with him or whatever. And they hit it off and she just keeps saying like only for tonight because they make out in the coat closet. Right. <laughs> uh, and really, really crash around in there. I got to yeah, say, yeah. They, they're fucking yeah. going at it. <laughs> But also, kinda, where's the code attendant? Like, what the fuck? Right? <laughs> get, get on your job, bro. You just happen to be on break right now. They're knocking on? coats off hangers. Right. That's, right. That's what I'm saying. They're creating chaos for you. Yeah. Not probably knocking people's tickets off the coats and shit. You know yep. what I mean? Like, where's the attendant? Where you at, bro? Um, and then she she keeps saying, Oh, I gotta get to the last ferry. It's midnight, a whole little Cinderella moment, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she did the lose shoes shoe. and she runs and the shoe falls off and she misses the ferry. And then who pulls up in the beamer? Mr. Politician. John Zattery. Yes. And I they make a joke that he gave a thumbs up earlier, and I I feel like I missed it, but he does it again in the car. And it's I think it's like a Bill Clinton joke in a way, because Bill Clinton was uh, always giving thumbs up. Oh, uh, is that right? Okay. Yeah, if you if, if, there was a lot of like SNL made fun of it a lot with Jeremy. Oh yeah, even yeah, when he talked, he would have he a, doing the yeah, thumb he would thing. Do, yeah, he'd be talking um, like that with his thumb. Yeah, so <laughs> I thought that was I thought that was funny. But I get I give thumbs up all the time, so I'm like, okay, I guess I'm a huge fucking dork then. Whatever, right. I don't okay. care. It's a dork. Yeah. Um, thumbs up is fine sometimes that's how you get out of a, out of a conversation you're just like all right yeah, yeah. i text i text thumbs up to people all the time yeah thumbs, i don't know what's wrong with thumbs up thumbs up is a yeah. is a fine uh, uh human gesture yeah it can it can say so many things mm-hmm. and the uh and then they drive off of staten island over like a bridge or something uh mm. fun fact i was looking at trivia for this episode real quick or information the staten island ferry runs 24 hours a day <laughs> <laughs> so, that, seriously so there is no well maybe in 2000 maybe, it did. maybe, maybe in 2000 it didn't, it didn't. but it didn't it's funny to think that but she's probably like, did. I have to get on the last one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, another one's coming. <laughs> uh, yeah. She had a deadline. She needs it. Another, another deadline. Another deadline. Another yeah. surgery to blow she off. Have. She might have. She might have. She yeah, never done. Yeah. never done. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Oh, man. That's really funny. I did not um, know that. That's hilarious. I wonder if it was at 2000. No. You know what I mean? I, I wonder, too. Yeah. Hours. Cause you know it should be changing, you know what I mean? Cause like yeah. remember, like McDonald's used to not have breakfast all night, but now you can get it all day now. It's not anymore. They actually stopped doing that. It's yeah. all right. It's fine. McDonald's is probably on its way out anyway with all the shit that's been going on with them last year. <laughs> so fuck it. Um. So I guess. And then can... we got Samantha and her Samantha. wacky <laughs> adventures. <laughs> so she. I uh, love Samantha so I much. I love her. First of all, let's talk about her focus yeah. when it comes to like she has the same focus as a man when it comes to getting laid she's she's oh, zoned yeah. in That's on always, that firefighter yeah and on top of that she's like she's like you know what she's like she made it up in her mind that she was gonna have sex with him and no nothing he could say 
could mess that Bless up. His he sweet, was dumb as fuck. Dumb part. <laughs> he was so dumb. And he and rambled. So he was dumb cute. and he rambled. And she was like, she moved right she back. Like, she's like, anyway, so uh, we're talking about this now. Like, <laughs> yeah. Shut your beautiful she's, mouth. We're going right. to go fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to talk yourself out of it. Yeah. Sure. You're going to talk yourself out of, out of some tail now. Yeah. yeah. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> he just be, like, you know what? She literally told him to sit there and look pretty. That's what Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sweet, sweet boy. No thoughts behind those <laughs> eyes. <laughs> like, just be a meathead. Just be a meathead. Sit there and don't say shit. So she's uh, having fun hooking up with him. So question. Does yeah. that kind of uh, go back to the whole fantasy of like, oh, we yeah, want to yeah. be rescued because wanting to have sex with the firefighter. Is that like something that is it the uniform or the, the job itself that turns women on? I think it's a little bit of both. Okay. Uh, because the, the whole the fireman carry where they can carry you like across the arms like that's hot like i like firefighters but that's not my like weird like fantasy i'm a big lumberjack fan okay i like 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 a flannel look bit of a beard okay chopping some wood we hang out in a cabin kind of a thing that's my deal okay i make no bones about it pun intended i feel that uh yeah so so she's clearly and i i like when they're at lunch and uh and she's like, this, his cock is amazing. And Char- Charlotte's like, I'm hungover. And the last thing I want to fucking hear about right now is cock. <laughs> I know. And Carrie's like, can we, can we, can we table the cock talk? Yeah. The cock, the cock, cock talk. talk. I was like, the cock talk is fun. I don't know why those two words together, like, was funny, yeah. but it just it was. It is. It is. It just was. <laughs> Because Char- Charlotte's like, there's children. And I try Samantha's like, well, that's their choice. A plus comeback. So funny. And it is. See, that's how I feel. I'm sorry. Like, I hate that shit when people are like, like, if like on Hollywood Boulevard, sorry that your kids are around, but I'm gonna speak the way I want to. This is just has uh, to be a tourist. Also, site. take your children off Hollywood Boulevard. Yo, especially those at, 10 at night. Like, why are you got your kids? At 10 at night, know, yeah. Why is it why are you got children now? Small children at 10 o'clock at night. They don't yeah. see everything they need to fucking see. Yeah. Okay. And 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 all the semi-normal people dressed up are gone. It's right. only the weirdo right. discount discount weirdo. So this is on you. If you if your child hears me say the word fuck, this is on you, bro. Yeah, because guess what? Elmo's saying the same yeah. shit. Take your in kid his home. Ratty costume. <laughs> oh. Yeah, take your fucking kid home. Nobody, don't, don't, don't make, don't put it on me, bro. I love how much, like, even though I love Hollywood, and I'm like, yeah, I avoid Hollywood pulls. Like, oh no, it's completely. the worst. <laughs> it's the worst. It's absolutely, and it's gotten worse. It but, uh, but I, I like so. But uh, Samantha, not Samantha, Charlotte. Said something to Samantha because Samantha was like talking about how like it's always been her fantasy to like go to oh, yeah, a firehouse yeah. and like have sex mm-hmm, with a fireman mm-hmm. and shit like that. And Charlotte's like, you should have sex with a guy just to fulfill a fantasy. And I was like, isn't that kind yeah. of what we do? It period. Like when we have sex, it's like and, yes, and also it's a fucking double standard because guys do that all the time. Oh, hundred percent. Always on and on about their fantasy. Guys always want girls to role play their fantasy, whether it's like. I don't or guys approve. or a guy will like hit yeah. on a girl just because like what she does for a living like if he's yeah. always wanted to have sex with a teacher he'll try to have yeah. sex with a teacher you know what I mean? so, like, a redhead a, right a, a, you know a specific ethnicity which is a whole right. fucking problem don't yeah. do that um that's, that gets into the whole fetish fetish right situation. that's hard to say fetish. fetishizing fetishizing, fetishizing. yes cannot Oof. do that words too many S's and H's. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Don't yeah, do that. Fetal, 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 fetal <laughs> and don't do schoolgirl fantasies anymore, guys. It's fucking weird yeah, if you think about weird, it. Bro. It's so weird. It bro. ain't right. It ain't yeah. right. Matter of fact, to me, even like I know they're like adult cheerleaders that like work for the NFL, but even to me, I'm still like eh, cheerleaders you're, you're, a little borderline. Yeah, you're, border, yeah, yeah. you're on the line. You're yeah. on the line. What kind of cheerleader? Because if yeah. like you dress up as a Cowboys cheerleader, then it's like, all right, it's like okay, that's an adult. You're, that's you're an adult age, cheerleader. Yeah, yeah. School, old school. Yeah, but if you like go get your yeah. Like I, I've never dated a girl that was a, like an ex cheerleader, but I'm pretty sure if I dated a girl who was an ex cheerleader, she like put on her like high school cheerleading costume i would give her props that she can still fit in it but yeah. i would also be Amen. like take it off though yeah you know what i mean that's weird it's weird yeah. um <laughs> but yeah like or like guys fantasize about, like i was like one of my favorite jokes from friends ever was ross was a big star wars fan and, he, oh, and yeah. rachel dressed up like princess leia in the bikini and everything to 
fulfill the fantasy. Mm, I and that's another thing is like I it's like Star Wars. I, all right, there's, so, there's something for everybody. I, I, I'm mm-hmm. not. I, I'm not here to shame. I'm just saying it's not for me. Like you can yeah. dress up like Leia. I'll just be like, cool. Where are we going? Like, yeah. <laughs> are we going trick or treating? Is it Halloween? Did I miss the time? What's going on? It's not for everyone. No, it's not Lumber, for like lumberjacks aren't for anyone. I get that though. Like lumberjacks are you know usually big, strong men, yeah. beards, kind of burly. Like that's like I mean I feel like lumberjack is like the epitome of manliness yeah or at least like like one of the top you know what i mean like you know definitely one of the top five of like manly men so they'll make they'll make fucking pancakes for you yeah great (laughs) and really strong black coffee because like my my hollywood crushes are all kind of big very masculine men like hugh jackman or gerard butler it's it's kind of i joke i'm like it's my lumberjack type because that's kind of what they they are kind of these big broad manly yeah Manly man. Just want a guy who's a man. That's Who it. fucking tap dance though? Looking at you, Hugh Jackman. He's what very light on his feet. For to be a to be a, a very hulking man, he's very light on his feet. He's very he's when he's not Wolverine, he's actually right. quite lean. Like That's when true. he's not like all roided out as Wolverine, right. which at a certain point becomes less attractive. Like the like yeah. There's a there's a you know an, not an uncanny valley, but there's like a line which we cross, which I'm like eh, eh, all right. Yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> yeah, like, fair. like the rock is hot, but the rock's getting like too big. Yeah, I need him to like cool it a little. It's getting out of control. Yeah, for my taste. I no, think, I feel you though, but I feel me. that I know I get what you're saying. I totally get mm-hmm. what you're saying. There's a there's a there is a limit, you know. Yeah, yeah. and uh, then Samantha's fantasy also goes wrong. Yes, it's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> she shows up to the firehouse. Scantily clad, which she looked fantastic. As she did always. look fantastic. I, so I did not. She looked fantastic. I did not care for her like blue leopard print Fair. dress, and Fair. it's a little tacky Fair. looking for her. I know, but I you know, know what, she but, can do classier, but but I feel like that was kind of the point. That was of kind of the she joke. Was going, yeah, 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 yeah. She was yeah, trying yeah. to look like kind of like kind of trashy a little bit. A little you bit. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, also, though. I kind of knew this was going to go wrong because like she decided to have sex with the fireman again inside the station. When she got there, there were like at least eight other firemen there. So like that was funny. And they're not all they're super on, ripped right, and hot. They're right. just like average dudes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like even just like forget the fact that they ended up having to go out on a call and she was like half naked in the in fire the, station. In the, fire in the gear. gear. <laughs> that cab was awesome. Get out of my fucking gear. Yeah. He's like, there's a fucking fire. Move. <laughs> it's perfect. He's like, I don't give a fuck how hot you look. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta go. I got a fucking job to do, which I'm sure turned her on a little bit. Let's be honest. Nah, she looked pretty embarrassed. Uh, she was embarrassed, but when she goes back at these later, she's gonna think about like, that guy. They she's gonna me, about that guy. They told me to strip out of their gear. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> Good Samantha-ism right there. That was good. That's exactly what she would say. Uh, she's probably going to go home and masturbate to that idea of a guy yelling yeah. at her. I love that. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, but I and, and smoking. I love that how often we see her smoking a joint and like wanking it in, in her spare time. I They cut all those scenes out of basic cable and I oh, forget about it. And like now, you know, I'm like, oh man, hell yeah. Man, Samantha's got the fucking I mean, she life. does it right though. Like, I, I don't it know if you've ever been. Relaxed. Yeah, you get relaxed. Just... Also, too, I don't know if you ever had sex, Baja. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's, <laughs> it's great. So I imagine masturbating while high is probably yeah. pretty good too. Uh, but that's that's everything in this. That's episode. everything. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, also, wait, I gotta give a bit, But although it didn't end for it didn't end that well for Samantha, like she ended up being like embarrassed mm-hmm, when mm-hmm. all the firemen left and she was basically there butt naked and people yeah. were passing by i still gotta applaud her for her like adventurism man she's oh, yeah, so yeah. adventurous and like that's why she's the best friend because she had like she does all this crazy stuff they judge her but she never judges them for any yep. wild thing mm-hmm, if anything she mm-hmm. like encourages them to just try the experience yep. you know just to keep the memory so there is there's a line later yeah. And that always sticks out to me where, where someone's a character says, well, don't you want to judge me just a little bit? And she just goes, not my style. And it's like one of the sweetest friend things she's ever said to somebody. It's like, she's the she best will friend. not judge you. She, she is the best friend. Yeah. Charlotte will be the first one to judge you. Miranda oh. will judge you for sure. Carrie will like, she'll like, she'll, she'll do it like because the group's doing it, but then she yeah. really 
want to try Secretly, herself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's what Carrie mm-hmm. does. <laughs> oh, but speaking of friends, I yes. I mentioned it in the last episode, and we do yes. I, we should bring it up before we we wrap up wrap up. Yes, the passing of poor Lily Garson, who played Stanford Blatch on yes. the series, um, passed away at fifty seven from pancreatic cancer. And uh, based on everyone's reaction was like the best dude, really nice guy. Yeah. Everybody loved him. And I felt, I felt a little bad because people were like, well, where's Sarah Jessica Parker's like public statement about it. And she kind of had to say like, it's too soon for me to say anything. Like, I'm, yeah. like they were genuinely, it just happened. Yeah. It just happened. And they yeah. were genuinely friends. Like right. from, I guess, before the show I read. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then obviously, and then through and, and after like that was that was her one of her closer friends and so i don't blame like i there's i think too much pressure on stars i have to say to immediately say yeah. something if somebody passes like like can they process first like they yeah. are human beings let, like let they, their process. friend just died can i process it first yeah you dicks like that was the same thing with fucking uh 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 uh, uh chadwick boseman died we're yeah. all up on all the marvel actors like people were really mad at Elizabeth Olsen, and I guess they were actually quite. They were mad at him, not Michael super- B. Jordan. They were trying to come at him. I was like, their friend just their died. Friend just Let died. Them like process yeah. it. Let them grieve a little bit, and then they can say something. Yeah, and Holy even shit. you know, like I, I don't feel like every actor in the MCU has to say anything about it because no. maybe some of them just truly didn't know him that well. Right? Maybe and they just worked together, and that's it. And that's fine too. Like, they, yeah it's it's insane uh yeah. how how much people kind of need that so you gotta uh, you gotta let people grieve a little i feel you... like like yeah. i can like i don't understand you coming at like michael b jordan for not saying it immediately but like i could understand you maybe having a fit if like disney didn't say anything immediately because yeah. they kind of have to it's a corporation that's different yeah. it's not and a person th- processing it's a yeah. corporation just saying like hey i support this person who right made us a lot of money mm-hmm. And a company can pump out a statement a lot right. faster than like a human going, oh my God, my friend passed. Friend just died. Yes, yeah. exactly. Perfect. Um, but yeah, I just, we just wanted to address it a little more because he, he is a big part of the show. There's a really yeah. nice essay in GQ uh, from a guy named, where did it go? I just, um, what do you call it? Evan Ross Katz about okay. um, what Stanford meant as a gay character on TV um, because he really epitomized uh stanford really epitomized like a gay bff for good and for ill i know there's right. some people yeah, who didn't, sure. you know who didn't love that but the as the, this author said in the essay it was still nice to see someone be represented on tv stanford does get boyfriends throughout the show he don't, we don't get to know him obviously as well as the four girls but he is an integral part of the friend group and that was still a big deal at the time you know like will and grace was just coming out to like all right yeah you know this what we were finally kind of getting in that era and so to see stanford have fun and you know he calls carrie out on things and whatnot too he's not totally just a prop right to to her we do get like a sense of who he is and whatnot so just wanted to mark that a little more detail we when we recorded last time we weren't in sex and city zone and right yeah, yeah. <laughs> talking major needed pain. To, needed to give it a little space because i didn't want to be like i'm with that i agree you know, with that major pain and then his passing don't quite go together so we just want to say rest in peace willie garson uh you will be missed so respect but that's that's our episode we're in season three now season three we got uh we got another journey i can't wait for this season it's actually a pretty good start to this season we're entering i think to me the Uh peak of the series oh season three and four seasons three and four i think are the Uh best like chunk of the of the show okay interesting yeah. i'm ready to because one and two we, we were really finding our footing we like sure. you know we used to have the direct camera stuff right you know the man on the streets and everything like that right. those are that's all gone now gone. we're just we've settled on we're just doing voiceover i think the characters have all kind of come into focus because you know the first season especially is sort of like a lot of moments not really plot plot stuff now we're kind of getting into like things will have not everything, but some things will have longer term ramifications and okay. be, it's not like it's serialized, but not like lost or something like that, where you have to remember right. everything. Right. But um, I just, I think the, some of the best episodes, funniest, most poignant, there's okay. some heartbreakers in here. 
in the next like as we get through three and four so i'm very excited to enter this era cool sweet well elizabeth tell the people where they can find us they can find us uh, uh most easily on instagram at show me what podcast and that will take you to our twitter and our facebook and our youtube and our main anchor site but you can also subscribe on just about any podcast platform you like to listen to spotify apple all the all that good stuff yes um hello to our international friends i haven't pulled up the analytics in a while but i know you're out there hello yeah um hello well germany <laughs> yeah germany and as and hello as well to our uh girls our guys and our theys they them hey. how y'all doing how y'all <laughs> And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok, which I'm getting a little more into. Hey, there. I just have fun. Come with on, it. do some dances. No, <laughs> oh, you want to do some dances. This it's happens. mostly the cat, if I'm honest. Um, <laughs> but you can find me in all those spots at Elizabeth Movies. Chris, where where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at Mac Diddy Combs on Twitter and uh, Instagram. That's M A C K D I D D Y C O M B S. Oh, also big announcement or maybe not big but fun announcement i'm going to new york in uh in october so uh i'll be there uh performing october 15th at 9 p.m at the west side comedy club in new york so you know we've been talking new york for the last like yeah year, you're gonna, now i get to be there you know what you have to do you have oh, to take the sex in the city tour oh i got one going oh, and I'm report going. back absolutely i'm going although wait don't t- maybe don't take it because i think it's full of spoilers that's fine I have it to. won't make any sense to you, I guess. I have to, yeah. I'll just it, it'll be. I have to yeah. go on a tour. Like we're we're talking sex in the city. If I if I go to New York and don't go, he took pieces here. Yeah. So yes, I'll be there. Come to see me do <laughs> stand up. I'm really funny. There's videos yes. of me being funny uh, online. I'll say, you put some on my Instagram <laughs> if you're following me. But yes, October fifteenth, nine p.m. I'm gonna be performing at the West Side Comedy Club in New York. So come see your boy. Awesome. Yes. And are we are we in candling? Yes, we're candles. Uh, be sure to visit Arlo Australia on the Instagram, A-R-L-O underscore Australia. Get you some candles, get you some reed diffusers. These are great candles. They burn slow. It's lead-free oh, wicks. Good. It's uh, 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 organic wax. And mm-hmm. all everything is sourced from Australia. Australia. So all the scents and, and oils and everything, is it's all natural if shit. If you're watching the video, I just huffed my lemon eucalyptus one. It's my favorite. It's oh, super, super good. Also, too, right now, she has uh, my friend Ale- uh, Alana, excuse me. She is the owner and the everything of, of mm-hmm. the company. She uh, actually has two seasonal, limited time only scents. Oh. So be sure to go for to fall? There now for fall. Yes. Yeah, okay, nice, two, nice. Actually, three, excuse me, three, three, three seasonal since that are coming out it's a limited time only just for fall so be sure to go there right now and get you some fall candles i'm telling you the house has been smelling fantastic <laughs> since she's been making them so go there right now get you some use our code show me miss all caps and mm-hmm. you get 10 percent off all purchases i'm telling you you don't want to miss out i was burning one of them today and it's my, my house still smells amazing they're it's better awesome. than bath and body works because that stuff fucking reeks Ooh, and this tough. is nice and natural and yes like oh it's just good yes they're fantastic uh yeah so that's it we will see you guys on the next episode bye